All right, well then, welcome back to Kay's Table. Sorry we missed last week um, due to personal um, scheduling life. conflicts. Yeah, life gets in the way. Speaking of life, um, happy Veterans Day. Special thanks to all of our veterans that have created a level of freedom for us to enjoy today. Um, so before we start today's game, um, I wanted to have an actual chat with everyone. Um, if everyone still likes playing this game, I'd be more than happy to continue it. But if not, I was wondering how would you guys like to do a return to Toka? Like play our old characters? No, brand new. Starting off at lower level, just like when you guys started with Reclaimers. Not quite Reclaimers. I can see how that would go bad really quickly, though. It's a fair thought. <laughs> yep, I like, was thinking starting off with the Collections Department and see what goes from there. Um, collections Department? Isn't that what Cynthia worked in where if someone didn't pay for like their stuff, they, they went and like... Collected? Either the pay or, or the person, <laughs> <coughs> or a reasonable facsimile of worth. Because um, if you guys want to do that, then we could go back to the episodic play, like we did before, um, plus full planescape, and it wouldn't just be looking for cursed objects anymore. It would be for random objects, you know, base a lot of fetch quests. Sounds like a I don't know. I, I think I might be just taking a small break from this world for a bit. Okay. As much as Toka is fun and everything, I can just I can only see it going south again. Okay, so you're okay with the idea of ending Foxfield? Mm -hmm. You're not overly interested in continuing that or going for a Toka campaign? Yeah. Understandable. Okay. So I already talked to Sam about it. You seem fully in for it. Yeah, um, this campaign's not going as well as it could, so it's it's a vanilla best campaign. On. You know, I've played no, very not vanilla campaign, and that was tons of fun. Trying to go through a long, involved storyline for a actual like vanilla real campaign uh, doesn't really seem to be what everyone else seems to enjoy. You know, because those campaigns involve taking notes, keeping track of, like, diplomacy and what's going on in different areas. And, you know, it's a lot of work and progression for your characters. Where if you have a idea of, like, taking over the world or saving the world and you can get behind your character and feel comfortable enough with it that you can play it off correctly um, in the game, then it can be a grand, fantastic time. Um, but no offense to anyone, any of the players, but you guys don't really seem to click onto that one, that kind of thing too well. It's like puzzles and breadcrumbs. They don't work all that great. Um, but when we were doing the Reclaimers episodically, you know, you had small quests, short quest lines. And that was going fantastic until you got into an actual big quest line that you stumbled across. You know, you guys were even really good at skipping out on large quest lines. By... Inviters! Yeah. Inviters? What? That, that was a nickname. Yeah. The reclaimers became the inviters. Yeah. <laughs> Not that that anything we, that we could have been afraid of, and I know I was the most OP character, but still. Yeah. So... The other thing is that for me personally, the next few months are going to be really kind of busy and weird for me. I have a lot of shit going on in my life. So honestly, the Foxfield campaign, like I said, if everyone wants to continue it, I will. But it's a lot of work on my side because I'm trying to create an entire world and how it interconnects with other storylines and stuff before you've even gotten to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I already have like 20, like two, over a hundred side stories 
of what's going on in your world right now for Foxfield. Okay, at least a hundred of which that I know of that you guys have no clue about that I'm running in the background that made certain things work. And so if you guys wanted to get further into that, it I would be more than happy to do it, but it's only if you really want to start delving into the history and actually create the history like we had originally designed, where we were going to write the world together. And it started off great. You know, I was having fun the first few sessions, but yeah, long arcing storylines and campaigns just seem to be a bit too much. But a quest that lasts for one or two levels seems to work fantastic. It's dynamic variety. Yeah, so you, you know, the higher levels where it takes longer to. Yeah, but then you also get more epic fights. Yeah. And situations. Yeah. And you've worked your way up to that point. Yeah. You know, Curtis didn't start off with an assault rifle. No, he didn't. Or a turtle cart. No. Or a magical floating battle lobby. Or an army. That, that too. You know, Cynthia didn't start off with evil tentacles of mass destruction and demons coming out of everywhere that will suck you dry and devour you while the tentacles beat you into a puddle. There were no fucking we'll lollipops. <laughs> uh-huh. Maro didn't start off as a druidic super tank that is almost impossible to even cause damage to and will just hold any aggro in front of it like a boss. You know? Mm. You didn't start off that way. No. You started off as a reject guard. <clears throat> yeah. Who was a twig that had no idea about your history. Yeah. Right? Cynthia started off as a rejected tiefling that was too embarrassed to even show her true form. So she like walked around as like a little girl. In constant years. disguise. Yeah. Right? Curtis. I mean, how rejected is a human growing up in a gnomish mountain? That is horrible to begin with. And then developing weapons and getting a contract to leave? You know, he didn't start off from anything grand either. Now, that's why any campaign I would change over to, I would want to start everyone at low level. Mm -hmm. If it's involving Toka, it's I start you off at level three. Okay? Any class in the books are open. Any race in the books are open. And for this campaign, if every, whoever wants to do it, I was going to do a session zero per person on how you get to Toka. That way you can get a feel for your character, see how you like it, see how it works, kind of get a little bit of a, bit of a backstory going on. But if we end this campaign, it will be a couple months till we pick up a new one? No, I was talking about starting this, like, next week. Oh, jeez. <laughs> or whenever. Now, and if you don't want to play with it and you want to come and join later, yeah, that's... Okay, that's fully an option, too. Yeah. I might do a separate session zero for a latecomer coming in to get a feel for their character. Yeah. And then, depending on how the session zero goes in, bring them into the group. I think that would probably be a nicer way to do it than how some of our previous players were introduced to a group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but that's just a guess. Yeah. I might, I'll think about it, but... It does sound interesting, but, again, something to think about, I guess. All right. I know your feelings on it. You're all for it. You already have a character design that you're working on. I have to create a new race because of this character. <laughs> so. yeah, I'm, I'm more concerned with my current financial status and whether or not I'm going to be able to be stable enough to keep coming consistently, but it is something that does sound interesting, and I would definitely be down for it. Well, the nice thing about the episodic, too, is that if you miss a few camp games, you can come right back in. Uh, Reclaimers it was much like a Saturday morning cartoon show. Hmm. That was kind of how I set it all up. 
So at the end of each session, you could basically start fresh to a point. Some of the sessions were like, we couldn't get it all done in one. So it became like two or three sessions into like one of the mini campaigns. Yeah. Um, but still at the end of the campaign or the three episode arc, so to say, okay, you were right back at home, everything all safe and hunky dory and just ready and waiting to go out on your next mission. So with a methodology like that, there's also side quests that I was doing for people, entire campaigns for people just on their own. <laughs> you know, like the rescue of nowhere. Yep. <laughs> the salvaging. That was an epic session. <laughs> epic solo session. The uh, desecration of the marketplace. Mm. That was just cold-blooded, epic, beautiful vengeance. The Wyverns. That was John Wick. The Cleric's Tower. They were my bitches. <laughs> they were good food. Lethnor. That whole place became my bitch. Fucking Cobalt. <laughs> yeah, I can't even comment to that one. <laughs> Draconians that think they're a cobalt. Second time around, we made them our fucking whore. Yep, most assuredly, no doubts, if ands, or buts about yeah, it. At least I know how to play a tank now. Yeah, and True. you played a damn good tank. Mm -hmm. Okay, Fee played a pretty good tank this campaign, but you just can't seem to get the get into it. I don't like Sazma. <laughs> um, I just don't like them. Yeah, so. I like the spellcasters who just like. Stay I would, in the I back, would like to murder quiet. Sazma. So, like to yeah. her. And I was gonna bring no offense father. to your skek, but you never seem yeah. to quite click on where you wanted to go with it. He's not wrong. Your skek was too many different directions at once. Yeah. I was trying to I leave you one. I just wanted to. I guess I have a question. The last battle encounter. Just... And it's okay if you say no. And I could have done it. But the build I oh, used for Nassage. I didn't really have enough chance to even do much in combat. Could I do another build like Nassage? Different race, different things, but using the school? I allow you for the new campaign. It's all the classes that are in the books, and I will allow Primal. As you see, just a little light fade off behind the trees. But we don't have to play Primal if you want to? No. No. No, Primal is one of... The Primal system looks good on paper, but... It's one that you have to have a plan going into your character as to what you're going to do yeah, and follow it through. If you don't have a plan for your character, which is complete min-maxing, I'll be honest with you. Primal is designed for min-maxers. Okay? Because if you set it up right, you have whatever max character you want by like level 5 to 10 getting exactly what you want done as long as it's in that focal range. Everything else, though, you're basically screwed. Okay, if you don't have that focus range as to what you want to make your character, okay, then it kind of ends up dripping and dropping off in a matter of no time because you'll have some nice abilities that you could pump up, but it's just rep you're basically still level two, only now you're powerful level two. You know, it's like how not to summon a, summon a demon lord when he sends out a level one fire blast and it's unbelievable to everybody because it destroyed a level 30 demon. You know, I think everyone in here has seen that anime. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I love the Iseki genre, but... It's, it's, there are good ones. Yeah. <laughs> I go with that. Yeah. There are good ones. And... And Primal basically fits with a lot of that, too. Yeah. It's If you put the points in the right place, you could be super tank. You could be super rogue. You could be super caster. Um, or half-ass caster, half-ass rogue. Yeah, otherwise you're half everything. Yeah, it's got, you, it, the thing about Primal, it has to be It's defined. too many options for You, you have to know player. what you want. That's why I was only went like two. <laughs> I went one and became more frightening than any BBEG you guys could have ran into. You can do a lot of cool, impressive stuff, but I can't really do it. But even Nassage in his creepy, omnipotent sort of way was not 
He has no HP. He has no strength. He could die. If, if something actually caught him, he'd be pretty well unfucked. Sure, he's great against the... For, like, domination, but so he So if we that. caught him and entangled him in a trap, we could have easily killed him. Oh, yeah. yeah. He would not have had any way to defend against it. Well, he's physically weak. weak. Physically weak as hell. But, yeah, if I actually tried, I could blow your head off, quite literally. But that's not the point. Yeah, yeah. he's a spy. Mm -hmm. Which means I, it wasn't a type of character that... I got too much chance to play. <laughs> yeah, his whole character was based upon, I'm not here. <laughs> a mix between the attack. <laughs> Mixed between, I guess, without the flame, it, the shadow, and Itachi. <laughs> no, Alright. So, are we basically agreeing, then, that this is going to be the last Foxfield game? Yeah. Okay. Then, do you really want to play it, or do you want me to just go through what you guys missed and would have gotten, and how, and we'll just kind of call it? I say call it, honestly. Yeah. I kind of want to end it more on a sweet note, but... Sometimes it's just gotta end it. Yeah, I wanted to give. Just, I wanted to grant Steven's dream of killing Zasman. So I just, I just wanted to. Would that to, be okay? To... He, she died at the end of the night. You just don't wake up this time. Just nuke everything. Okay. So originally, you're all gonna wake up in the morning. Yeah. Find yourself in the Adams house that was all desecrated and mm -hmm. decayed. Um, cowgirl would stay. If you made your search rolls, you would have found Granny's um, potions book with a few recipes that were going to be kind of difficult to pull off. But like one of them is if you imbibe it for 12 hours, you're immune to um, any melee weapon that's not plus one magical or silver. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just bring up always, the notes here. Always have one magic weapon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you'd search the bedrooms, um, the master bedroom, um, there's a silver mirror in there, um, a terrasque. desk covered in, oh, there was a terrasque in the world, in the frozen north, yeah. the frozen wastes. I had done a whole storyline where it became frozen because an, uh, a cryomancer gave up their life. I completely ripped off fairy tale, I'll be honest. <laughs> gave their life to trap the Tarrasque in, in the ice. And that's why the place is forever frozen. Because it draws all heat from like a two mile radius of where this Tarrasque is frozen under... To keep it cold? Yeah. Frozen in a lake. Oh, come on, let's go in there and set a fire. The pyro boy. And right. the cave that you guys were working towards life. that had the deck of many things, the other half of it, yep. was layered to a white dragon that you were starting to hear little bits about. So at the end of the dragon, you would have found the dragon's horde and had to fight the white dragon, who was a, an adult white dragon, um, in order to get it, where you could have found the other half, the deck of many things. Um, a history of the Skeksis, um, a bunch of maps. I had started writing that stuff down. <laughs> um, and if you went further down in the cavern, you find out that the dragon was actually protecting the caster that had sacrificed themselves that was constantly recasting the spell. So you would have been able to disimbue the spell and stop it, which would have stopped the essence of cold going throughout that entire area and, and the freed terrasque. the terrasque within three months. <clears throat> it wouldn't have freed it at first because it would take a while for it to thaw out. Must be a but I had boy. three months <laughs> down the road, it was going to be released. So at that point, roughly three months later, when you're with the um, Gelf, who were in the jungle, and they are incredibly tribalistic, yeah. they've split up into their the tree house, the tree um, dwellers, the ground dwellers, and the underground dwellers, mm -hmm. and none of them talk to each other. They're all infighting and bullshit with each other. God, how um, much money we could have made off them? Yeah. Over old feuds. I would have slaved all of them. Oh, at least picked one to slave. Keep the other two yep. for war. So there would, would have been a chance for you to become a diplomat and actually start to get them to work together. Um, which would have been made much easier when all of a sudden the Tarrasque gets released from the frozen waste and starts crawling up over the mountainside towards the Gelflings. If you had released it. Which would then give you the chance to take on the Tarrasque at roughly level 10-11. Um, with the army of the Gelf behind you. If you could get them all together. That was one of the general plans. We would have needed an for that. Yeah. 
Um, otherwise, if you couldn't have gotten the Gilf to get along with each other, then you could have picked one of the tribes to be dominant that could have dominated over the other tribes to take the volunteers to go with you and just enslave the rest. Um, the multiple other options. <laughs> um, that would have been so easy. Just like, oh yeah, have you heard the Lightbringer? And it just would have spread. And now you have the Gelf Lightbringers. Four. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then from if the Gelf, depending on how you had freed them or not freed them, then it would be coming closer to time for you to meet up with um, the captain again. So there so would have been. really was the BBEG of this game? The BBEG? Yeah. Her dad. BBEG? Metagame question that even I don't have the answer to? Yeah. If everyone showed up a year later, the army of the possible Gelf, an army of humans, the entire Taurine's fleet, Probably my army, because massage. Yeah. And whoever the fuck else I felt like bringing. It would would, 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 would a Foxfield have had a prayer in yes. Christ? Yes. Even with their dire animal armies, we're talking about tens of thousands of troops combined. If I wrote it in going with full demon logic and demonic abilities, he's still a tiefling, but he has demon blood in him. Yeah. He would sacrifice his children in order to open a rift to the abyss to summon up demons to fight on his side and thus open up the blood war to the world. Unless someone assassinated him before he had a chance to do it. Oh, that would have been easy. Okay. Or bring him his daughter to help. The other BBEG that no one had gotten to yet was with the Skeksis. And it's the... Um, uh, the old guy in the library. No. <laughs> oh, God. That would have been hilarious. No, I had written up his brother. He's a Sith Lord. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Sith Lord that was mutating the Skex into their primal nature and controlling them with a mind control and has been doing it for thousands of years. That's why there are hordes of brainless Skex. So if we just killed him, it would have just released all the Skex from... It would have released them from their spell and turned them into primalistic cannibalistic evil creatures that would end up killing themselves off mm. in a matter of a few months. <laughs> and then you'd have only the strongest of the strong remaining to take out. Mm. Which, mind you, Fees, Zasmin's sister, has the kingdom to the north of there. Mm -hmm. The Great Where? Gardens. Where? Yeah. And then she would have dispatched her soldiers down there in order to take these out as well. Yeah. Because she's been fighting them off this whole time. Yeah. So the center, um, if you look at the map, the center area there was all habited by humans and farms. So our little satyr buddy went down to the Uru Island. Mm hmm Okay. The Isles, yeah. Figured out, found out what was happening, okay, where the Uru were not gods at all, okay, they are simply dwelling below the surface. And if he finds out what you guys would have to really work hard to find out later, is that the maelstrom there is actually a conduit into the inner planet. Hmm. And there's a few other places that you could access it as well. And the inner planet <coughs> is basically a crystalline city made out of the... Um, uh, star shards, mm -hmm. okay, which is actually recycling the souls of this location rather than allowing them to go to the blood war, which was the final FU to your dad's lineage <clears throat> when they all disappeared because now they blood he couldn't get the souls for the blood war, which is why your father's lineage or Sarathime's lineages have been dropped dying out because you hadn't had been able to give the souls back to his commander. So they didn't infuse him with any more demonic power from the, the house. Hmm. Huh? Rip. Yep. Um, in the southeast corner there, where you see the desolated lands, mm -hmm. there is an entire kingdom of undead that I had in there. The misty islands that are on the northeast side of the island, I had that one all designated as Cthulhu. Cthulhu followers, 
um, San Hugan, all kinds of underwater oh, gods. nasty shit. Um, where the red area there is is where the Skeksis was, and there's a slave trade going from um, that the pirates originally were doing from the island over to there in order to get essence of life, which mm. is why the pirate captain Tusk Tooth was so tough mm. the Minotaur because he's been trading so, in slaves and drinking it. Was the Minotaur who her character was supposed to marry, was he really the bad guy or was he just convenience? He, convenience more than anything else. He is either a ally that would help you out. All he is is he wants to be in control of the seas. Yeah. He doesn't have any means, he doesn't have any want to make it a bloody horrible takeover or be a bloody horrible evil captain. He really was not bad. Really. Yeah. He wants control of the seas and to make sure that they're safe for all of his people, that trade can be done across it correctly and that everyone wins. Because when everyone else wins, he wins. So he was d- trying to do it politically. Yeah. He's just not the most political person. Ah, so he came off as... You people. look at a minotaur and, you don't, and you're never going to see a diplomat. Yeah, and he also came off as evil. Yeah, and it was just full confidence. Yeah. Okay, he knew what he had available, what he could do, what he couldn't do. And what powers he had. Yeah. So he would use those to his advantage the way that he wanted to. Um, but he was very good to your satyr friend the whole way, as well as the froggy. Mm. Uh, the frog becomes a, by the time you find up again, find up with him again, he's now become like a high monk and learn the crystal, do the whole floating froggy thing. Mm-hmm. Um, now what would have happened if, cause the marriage was still going to happen. What would have happened to Zasmin when she got married? Well, the ha- marriage wasn't going to happen anymore. Oh, so it was just going to be like a contract. Yeah, no, the plan was that he was going to return with her. Yeah. Okay, to, um, that he had found the lost queen, um, the lost um, ancestor, and that it must have been some kind of plot against the government. He was going to pull all kinds of political means to try and reinstate her in the throne nicely. Yeah. Okay. And if you'd made all your diplomacy rolls, then you could have taken it over nicely and then handed it off that way. Yeah. If you didn't and it went into war, work, um, then Foxfield would have been boned because they don't have the soldiers and stuff to match. Even the pirates, never mind having the Gelf behind you if you'd gotten it at that point. Yeah, or if you called in aid from other places. Or just him. Yeah. And he could nuke armies. Basically. So, I mean, when you're looking at that whole process, he was going to lose. So that's when he would have sacrificed his kids in order to so open a rift. So he said, hey, to the children, just hey, come with us. If he didn't have the kids, then yeah. But you wouldn't have known any of this was a possibility oh, yeah. until it was too late. Unless we passed, like, our, like, freaking yeah. religion then at that religion check. It would have to be a religion <laughs> yeah. check for that one. And then at that point, you have the chance to be pulled into the um, Blood War and into I the Abyss, like... <laughs> which we would have gone to Avernus, where the souls are processed. <laughs> and you would have had a hell campaign this trying to get out. Mm. And if you had escaped into the Abyssal going. Plain, you would have ended up meeting up with Tachesis, because you entered into her territory. Um, the, that would have been a very, 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 very painful death. Yeah, there was a chance of the dragon being empowered by Tachesis during your no, fight. No. If it she came out, the, your connection was. She is the most powerful dragon. Yeah. Every three rounds, I was going to do a roll, and if I rolled a twenty on any of them, Tachesis notices through the eyes of her child, the fo- the foe before her, and increases the doubles the strength of the dragon. has now had had a fear of dragons at that point. Um, oh, what's this? You're going to go for a dragon? I'm going to stay outside of the cave. <laughs> like I've always said, I keep track of what you guys have done and there are repercussions for stuff that come up later. Um, there was also, if you had gone to the volcanic islands, a Nertak, which was a red dragon that rules the place, and would have found out that there's a bounty out for you from Dekesis. But it doesn't feel like bothering with it because this place is disconnected from the other planes for the most part. So she doesn't have to worry about Takesis. And Takesis isn't her true mother. She's actually a child of um, Tiamat. Tiamat. 
So I could have possibly made an ally. Yep. Uh, hey, she hates my guts because I didn't know who the fuck she was. You probably would have lost one of your goblins with another attack, um, mm. where he would have stayed in order to learn jewel craft yeah. and work with metals. Uh, the ranger, you are going to be losing um, the enchanter ranger. You are going to be mm. losing somewhere around the Gelf areas. Mm. Uh, yeah, where he's just going to get lost in the woods and screw society. Um, there was also a chance of him losing his mind in the plains up to the north there, where it's all misty. It was the uh, mist of forgotten dreams. Mm. You go in there and you start losing your memory. Lovely. And you have to make wisdom rolls or you go into a mindless daze and get lost. Mm. Mad no fun. Oh, yeah. um, let's see. In the southeast, um, if you look on the map, there's a floating island. The floating island is a human settlement that actually is high magics. That would have been interesting. Yeah, who have secluded themselves from the rest of the world. It was the human leaders and mages that set the place up when they escaped and left the northern kingdoms. Mm -hmm. And to protect themselves from the monstrous races, they created a floating island with the castle on it, which is the last bastion of high magic for the human race. There were also Uru up there, Gelf up there, and many other races. There was also a Toka representative. Hmm. It has a small stand that's selling off narcotics and other stuff. So but, if it's known for anything, it's known for its drugs. But it would have been a contact for you to be able to go to Toka if you wanted to. Mm. Um, God, that would have been fun. Yeah. So, Balthan, okay, was not on your side. Yeah. He's slowly mm. tapping out your life energy, making you into a lich, an undead, so that he could become corporal and physical himself and then take over your body. Kind of figured. Yeah. Okay. If you had gone with the Skeksy then it would have brought out more of your primal side. You would have gotten a lot of physical boosts, okay? Like the uh, lunge attack that you were doing and the bouncing around trees and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, you would have also had a much higher mastery with your bow and learned about three new attacks. Yeah. Split arrow, barrage, um, uh, spectral arrow, and uh, uh, draining arrow mm. was the other one I wrote up. And yeah, if, that, if, if I could go back in time and do one thing correctly for my character, it would have been choosing the Skeksis. I was going to say, give me Balthan. <laughs> well, Balthan, take him. You want Balthan, take him. Yeah. Um, I will give him to you. I don't care. Your character would have continued to spread the word of the Lightbringer. And eventually become okay. a god. Well, actually, it would have actually pissed off one of the gods who comes down to try and claim that he's misrepresenting him. Which one? Uthar, the light bringer. <laughs> Oops. He's the light bearer, right? Exactly. Not light bringer, light bearer. Yep. Close to the... like, listen, man. He's I know a you, god you took the name first, yeah, but he's just a god like, of justice. Uh, just like Reese's and Reese's. Yep. I'm, a, I'm the knockoff. Reese's Don't worry about it. it. And, and he weren't too much about justice, so he would have been pre PO'd. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There, there was a bit of justice in there, but there was a lot of entertainment. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Loki would have been <laughs> too. Right. Um, so that was the general gist of what I had. The flame scar was full of fire elementals. Um, if you'd gone up to the frozen waste, it was full of frozen elementals, um, oni, um, and like high ogres. Um, oh, ogre like mages. That, like that one ogre or troll I saw at the oasis. You would have found more of like them. Uh, they're nice. also blue skinned creatures that were cannot handle heated areas because so, their blood is now technically antifreeze. So <laughs> ice giants. Basically. Jotun, basically. Yeah, but not quite, because they're not giants. Yeah. They're jo like baby jolt frozen varieties of multiple races. Oh, okay. It's the curse of the frozen lands. If you're there for too long, you become a uh, frost walker. Cool. I like double. Not really. No, not really. Because That'd if be you cool. go into normal temperatures, your blood starts boiling. 
Watch that too much sucks. hentai for some. Yep. What? what? You become cursed where you can't handle any type of heat. Mm. You become Mr. Freeze from Batman. What? All the ice puns. <laughs> okay, whenever around. someone says Mr. Freeze, I always think of that one Christmas movie. I'm Mr. Yes. Icicle. Yes. Yes. I'm Mr. Snow. <laughs> yes, that bad. <laughs> Batman and Robin was a painful experience. That one was definitely. I love the one before Batman Forever, one of my favorite all time Batman movies. I did go see it in theaters with my dad, so it's kind of sentimental as much. Drive but... in. Yeah, right. Mm. Oh, I've, I've never been to a dream. That's so sad. That is sad. There's You're not missing much anymore. Seen them. There's nothing quite like getting fucked up in your car watching a movie with a bunch of your friends who are also getting <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, but you can't do that anymore. And laughing at the people having sex in the car next to you. <laughs> because it looks so cumbersome. <laughs> Which, if you're not doing it right, it is. But that's fun too, having sex at the drive in. Been a while. Yep. Closest thing I ever got was. I yeah, I'm old, okay? But I did stuff that you don't want to know house. about. <laughs> Your dad did too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she needed to hear that one. Yeah. Obviously, otherwise she wouldn't be here. So, wait, you were born at a drive-in party. Are you telling me your father's not a virgin? Well, actually, she was conceived during him being a good boy. Okay. I remember. Con I remember him being not so much of a good boy in yeah. situations where being a good boy doesn't actually fit. That he had quite a bit of fun in. Confused. Oh yeah, we don't. I'm not we, gonna we talk. Don't, we don't talk yeah. about them. Yeah. Because if if my dad learned yeah. that you told me this stuff, he'd probably give you a try. No, it, it's a respect. Yeah. Okay. You don't talk about some of those things that you did. You just kind of giggle about it and look at each other yeah. like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, these are Sam. Sam. I'm like, what? What? Hmm. All right. So, um, any other questions you had about this world? How quickly would I have taken over the port? Using your abilities? Oh god, yeah. Yeah, about the same time that they met Pandar. Okay, yeah, just checking. Sorry, I just... You know, if you actually really put your effort into it. How badly could I have actually nuked the entire world? Um, you had a spell fail chance when if you used more than 10 spell points. Mm -hmm. That would cause a one mile nova. Hmm... But, Nova, but I'm talking about like, like just, just all of all the spell points. I would have asked him how points. many spell points he has stored. All of those plus. spell points would have been <laughs> would have been released as d6 damage to everything within a one mile radius. Radiant. O only one mile though. Would have sucked for everyone there. Trust me, he would have killed everybody. If it, if I you, would have just made a part of the it. map black. It would look like a crater had hit. If it had been an epic fail on more than 20 spell points used, okay, it would have been basically the continent. I'm talking about like just dumping it would have all actually of my spell points banished at once. the entire area for a one mile radius around you into the elemental plane of light, you included. Hmm. Which would have vaporized the party. Except for me. For a couple seconds. Yeah. And you would have had a bit of a saving throw in order to be able to avoid it or get yourself out of it, but it would not have been easy. Teleport. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> you would basically be sucked into your sword. You would have been sucked into your bow. You would have been poofed into your um, oh, hidey, co hidey hole. That would have been your best bet for release. Um... And you would become one with the elemental plane of light. That does not sound bad. You gained your godhood. You just lost your sense of self. <laughs> you are the light. I am the light. <laughs> you are everywhere. And then wax summons you back and brings you back to the harsh real world away from the light and bam, you back among the living. But yeah. would I come back um, as the light? I am nothing but light. I am. That would be a really fucked up way to become Dr. Manhattan. Yes. I. Whack, I was going down some evil paths. 
Yeah, Wack was going to take over the like the dark side of the world. Wack was going to rule the underworld. I don't doubt it. That'd be interesting. With his, where they're recycling all the souls of the planet in the center of the planet. That'd be interesting. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not stuck in my head now. So I figured out where I'm gonna go with Electromancy. That's what I was doing this whole time. I was trying to figure out which Primal I was gonna go with. Honestly, if I do Mentalism, it's If I do it's just, end up it's gonna go the, the new game, route. I'm probably not gonna touch Primal. I don't blame you. I probably will end up going with a tank again. That'd be fine. I miss tank again. Paladin. I'm tempted because it would make my character so powerful. Well, this is where you are allowed to have OP characters. Because this is Toka. There are more OP characters than Primal. This is City of Gods. Yeah, no, the people like, in that city, you could, uh, like, literally. You could literally look down the street and see a god walking by and be like, okay, that's normal. They don't think it's weird. Yeah. We met Loki. We met others. Yeah, he saved my ass. All I'm saying is I, st I still want my Loki? character to become yeah. a god. When? Ramara? That's... To become a god, oh, you need to become a I want other gods to look at me and go, okay, oh, I won't Lydia. fuck with you because I like you. To become a god, you must defeat a god. Yeah. You need, okay. you need to kill a So, god your final god. act, become a god. I was putting, I decided, you know what? I will put up for you guys to defeat Tachesis. Because she's a technically a goddess. Mm -hmm. Although she's a um, copy of Tiamat. So she's only a like facsimile of the mother of dragons. Hmm. Only if the avatar is only actually celebrated in like two different worlds. And you, she's cocky too. Yeah, she's. Cast she got pissed in, because I didn't know who the fuck she was. Yeah. No, yeah. no god really do that. Uh -huh. Evil gods would. Evil gods, yes. Yeah, but she's like, an evil god. Dead. Yeah. Goddess. Yeah. So a normal yeah. god would be like, oh, you don't know who I am? I'm so and so, and I'll be like, uh -huh, yeah. oh. Teach me! Look up Tachesis. I mean... Telekinesis? One of my favorite stories from her was um, her fight with... After her fight with Raceland. Mm -hmm. When Raceland decided not to kill her. Because it would destroy all the gods. One by one and destroy the entire world. Um, she decided to torture him for eternity. Stack where stack every morning he would boat. be resurrected. Yeah, tied to a pole. Add it to my list. And then... All right. I Every do, day he would be burned so alive, mm -hmm. and then resurrected the next day. I think the next one's going to kind of be based off him to an extent. Now that I have more of a direction here, yeah. and more of an idea exactly what's going on. So, um, if you guys are up for the, I'm saying right now Reclaimers 2.0, but it's not going to be. Yeah. It's going to be something similar, but not something Yeah, similar. I'll start you off with the collections department, and then depending on how everything goes from there, you might create your own department or create your own entity yeah. or I might progress you on to other duties. As long as a cur another Curtis isn't made. It's Toka. I promised I wouldn't have an evil character in your campaign when you tried to be heroes. Yeah. You cannot blame me for what happens in Toka. In collections, the only thing that matters is that you come back with what you're supposed to come back with. They don't necessarily ask what happened along the way. Sometimes they don't want to know, but that's why I'll have a great character for it. Hi. Hi. All right. You so, have this back now. I was trying not to, you know, be too evil here. She yeah. made a pickpocket roll. <laughs> and she sniped it for you. Time. To try and steal it from you. Check my this I'm keeping. Shit, I took it. It's a prime one. Yeah, let the intro man too. Now that I only took it, because to you tried off. to sell it off. And I wasn't gonna sell it off. <laughs> you tried. You almost time. did. I almost did. So, 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 I, I was not privy to the knowledge she pickpocketed you. Do I fault her for pit, my Do I fault? <laughs> do I fault her for pickpocketing you? No. no. <laughs> was it that good? Well, she almost sold it. And she also oh, and we almost lost it. Auto. We're like, this is the, the treaty yeah. that shows that they were once allies. The thing that was like our entire purpose. The thing that That's made them the heroes. Thing. All of it. And if Josiah, my old. You team. had gotten someone with the blood of Serathim to sign that. So like a brother. I was gonna get Ginger. Okay. To sign that. With their full, with their true name, okay. 
as a representative or descendant of it, it would have become a magically binding contract and changed the entire world. Could she have done that? Could you have like forced your brother? That simple? Yep. We could have just found one of our siblings and said, here, sign this with your real name. Yep. And then... You make that sound really easy. And at the cost of... The the problem is, though, if I'm not mistaken, Demon Blood, you sign your real name. You are bound to it. Whatever it is, no matter what. Well, yeah, I'd be like, read it first. Or it will kill you. Yep. Yeah. You are literally damning whoever does it to do whatever you have written down there. And if that's done the piece... That means they now have to go do the piece. Yeah. They'll do it to their death. So, I mean, it's a, it's a price. So it would bound, bind the Skeksis to do what they're supposed to do, the Gelf and everyone else. And because of the magic of the contract and because of the magic of the planet itself, with the soul recycling, okay, the previous souls that were lost in the war would come back to enforce it. So when Zazvin dies, she, she got her soul sucked into her Galfrain sword, right? Yep. Yeah, and our souls would still go into our weapons, but... Yep. So, if we say that you died that night at the Adam's house, she just, then people just somewhere sword. around is the Gelf sword, yeah. the Gelf sword of souls. Somewhere around is the Skeksis bow of blood. That only a Skeksis can pick up. Only a Skeksis can use. Yeah. Anybody can pick it up. Using it's a different matter. It burns people. Yeah, no, it hurts them. It hurts them. So, if you are interested in the um, Reclaimer campaign... I will definitely think about it. Okay. The other question is going to be, do we want to switch the night of it to an easier night for people? Yeah. Um, instead of Wednesdays? And if so, what day does everyone want? That works well for everyone. Um, I'm basically free Monday through Friday after 5. Um, Sam has his own game Friday nights usually. I work Tuesday and Wednesday nights, so we yeah. can't really do Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, Saturdays we could do a game if everyone's up for it, at least for now, if, you wanted, if you're okay with that. At the moment, that's fine. Um, or Sundays if you're okay with that, depending. Um, I think Saturday I would rather do it than Sunday, personally. I mean, at the moment, I'm available Sundays. The house is available. So, yeah, if you want to go with Sundays as a start time, we can do that. So it's up to all you guys. And then the other thing is, what do you guys want to play? And like I say, this is Toka, so planar. If it makes sense and you present it to me in a way that makes sense, I will go through the stats with you in order to make it fit in order to play it. I know already. I wouldn't what I'm mind doing. playing a harpy. Harpies were fun. You already know what I'm making. Yeah. My you have an interesting so. one. Yeah. I already know what classes I want to be. Can I share what class you're going to play? Yeah. Okay. She's going to play a cleric. You said you designed your character. Of death. Yeah. Death. Can I see a death cleric. Yeah. Draw yeah. on it. Yeah, do a death cleric. Can... I'm most likely not going to be able to. Um, well, Sundays don't you can see the original one. really work for me. I'm still working on different Wednesday's colors. only real day that I have off. Okay. And my parents need me home for Sunday nights. So Family time is very important. Yeah. Well, so we'll plan on Saturdays. Um, new campaign, Toko. So anything else? Saturday sound good then? Yeah. Tom can make Saturdays. I will mean, be for a while, so. Yeah, if Tom wants to, if, there, if I'm not working, if Tom wants to play, can, he's more than welcome to come. Same with Stephen, yeah. um, and Jesus, okay. even if he wants to play. This is the. Um, I don't mind. The, the nice thing about the Toka campaign just, is we could play with a large group a or a small group. Yeah, it's episodic for that purpose. Yeah. it's the type of game plan. It worked out great when we did it. Yeah, yeah. We just depending on who showed up, you could run it either way. We were solid. We had the solid four of us yeah. for many, many sessions. Yeah. It was a fun campaign. It got kind of weird in many places. But it got dark at the end. Yeah, well. Dark's good, though. No. no. Could have could have been one of those RPG horror stories. Yeah, I was an evil DM. I made people cry. And... Why are you looking at me? <laughs> 
Insane, isn't it? <laughs> No, it's damn birds. <laughs> when you have quotes you can assign a campaign that are like legendary, epic, emotionally jarring, Point horrifically five. scary, sociopath inducing. So and it's the same really sentence. So that we like Burke takes punk. We were into our characters. Okay. For some of us, that was a scary don't place, worry. and that made us do scary I things with zero regard for human life, animal life, or three point no six billion living beings. Nick will take Ooh. care of no. Bert. I need to break his teeth. Punk. No. Yes, I, I trust Nick with him. Yeah, Nick will take care of Punk. In time. I feel like they're going to like, take over a small kingdom. Like our henchmen. They're just going to be like, we don't have anything to do, but let's not go back to Foxfield. Like, walk over to a kingdom, even kick in the door, we own you. So could, they're all dead. I guess we'll help out Cowgirl. <laughs> like a vineyard. He's a dad. He's a dad. <laughs> And he also, if one day we go back and you ask me to lay the farm map, and I see that our henchmen and like cowgirl have this thriving nice farm, I will subliminally be nicer. You just right in character. My character, I assume, is going to be evil. Is going to be like, and just I like drop. you. I hope I don't have to hurt you. And you know, oh, what? and yes, I want to do the British hey, buddy, accent. I gotta go back to the British accent. Oh, you're okay. dead now. Oh. What I love about the Toka yeah. campaigns that I do too, the reclaimer style. Is I use every world. Use wild There's a chance of coming back to Foxfield. Oh, I know. And then just send him off. Okay. Viking style. There's a chance of no, showing up at the her elemental her plane. Like, uh, I mean, at the ele um, dungeon that she of elemental wanted. evil. Like, bring back to life. So. Oh, she find whatever bugbear corpses are left. She's only she's the... off doing necro. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, no I swore off doing it. I'm not doing it anymore. What? Didn't you only really have it because of Balthan? Mm-hmm. And if you gave. Him, Balthin. Could I have done that? Could I have been like, here, Balthin, he, he, he likes you, go to him. Um, you know your soul command? <gasps> I could have done that! He is just a soul attached <laughs> See, that's to the whole thing with Primal, you had to be creative. Soul command gave, let, you, let you give the ability to that, command that, the soul that. to do an action. Balthin, go to him, be his that, that, friend that, that, now. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Balthan, I transfer my connection that you have to me to him. Yeah. And now it's turn gone me back to very, normal. Very dark, very quickly. Turn me back to normal. Or whack, soul bind Balthan to him. Or teach you soul bind. Or summon. So um, why didn't, why couldn't Balthan talk while we were at the uh, Adams? The place is Holy Land. And he's not holy. Nope. <laughs> not even remotely. Nope, it's blessed. So if I just carried a piece of blessed land with me constantly. It wouldn't be able to come within five feet of you. Step <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I I did a lot of thought into the Adams family, how I could make it fit in for their whole storyline and how the family is into D and D terms. And then it just occurred to me, you know, give them an alchemical mixture that makes it so they're immune to non-magical weapons. That completely explains almost all of the items, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, they're resistant to poisons, but not immune, because they mm -hmm. do get sick. They do get poisoned. But when it comes to any type of weapon, they never seem to get stabbed. Blades just kind of bounce off of them. Yeah. Well, they try to stab each other constantly, like they're not worried about killing the other. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah, and then I also gave like elemental resistance because they'll electrify each other, burn each other, and you know they might take some damage from it, but not enough to kill them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I figured, you know, that would be it. You want to hear the recipe I put together? Yes. All right. Um. Let's see. All right. So. You would have found blood roses. Blood roses, the roots drain D4 blood per round on a successful drain. The rose bush fully grown um, fills a five foot cube of as impassable terrain. Thorns deal D4 damage on touch with a deck save of 15 to avoid the thorns. Okay, um, drain, roots drain D4 blood per round on successful drain um, save versus a con of 12. And roses bloom upon draining 10 HP of blood. Each rose petal, when consumed, will restore 1 HP. 
6 H um, petals per flower. Only usable, though, if the rose is fully bloomed. Oh. Okay. There were also moon flowers. Small appear, uh, flowers that appear as balls only bloom in the light of the moon. And just one moon flower bloom to regain D6 spell points. I also made the animated tree an ironwood one, which was intelligent and neutral unless attacked or if someone tries to harm the building. Mm. And if you investigated it, you would find a single acorn at the base of the tree. And on a higher investigation, you could have found a sapling growing on the back of the house that's a child of the original tree that you could have modified. These were all plants that you could have had access to. All right. Um, yeah. So you could have had a living tree ant ironwood that you could have modified into your house. Bless. Thank you. To walk around with you. I cast bless. Um... So, Smarta Spirits, upon drinking, gain plus one charisma, resist disease and poison, gain immune to normal, non-magical, or, um, uh, or non-silvered blessed weapons. Uh, when you make a death saving roll, the effect fades, restoring consciousness automatically. So you automatically get one save versus death. And when you do that, you wake with two hit points. The effect lasts for 12 hours or until, dis or until dispelled. It gets dispelled if you die. Um, and the ingredients. One for per dose. One bloomed blood rose with six Chances inches of stem. Die, Purified water. Chances. Berry of mistletoe. Like one belladonna flower. One, two, Essence of an innocent. Yeah. So seed of a virgin. Uh, three dot, dr uh, drops of dew collected from a moonflower bloom at dawn, a mandrake root, hair of a dead man, eye of newt, and a frog tongue. Interesting. Okay. Stupid thing. Moonflower elixir. <clears throat> Upon drinking, gain the effects of a lesser restoration spell and restore d6 spell points, which... And for that, you need a moonflower bloom, a pound of moonflower leaves, a gallon of purified water, a dose of salt. Well, I know how to make purified water. You just got to boil the hell out of it. Yep, you would have also, if you searched well enough, you could have, no, you actually had to purify it through magical means. Oh, I know. It was, it was, magical it was, it was a joke. Yeah. There was actually a canteen hidden in the kitchen of ever full of purified water. Oh! That could have come in handy. And, um, I, I slowly start to creep. A you river. could have taken my own um, yeah. So if sunlight all touches all the elixir at any time, mm -hmm. it completes, it makes guys, it neutral so and just... cancels the effect of it. Okay. But um, other than that, I also have rose water. May be applied internally or externally to heal 2d6 hit points. Um, upon contact of rose water with a wound or when ingested, it heals the 2d6 point. So one blood rose bloom, all six petals, the ash of the departed, so the ashes of a sentient soul to preserve the potion. If this ingredient is skipped, the potion loses all power within 10 days. Okay. One liter of purified water and one cu cup of distilled alcohol. Okay. Um, and the rest of the book was a list of other recipes that Detail on how to make thought, uh, foods that are thought to be poisonous edible. Mm. So you get a 50% chance of at any time to find an antidote or way to neutralize a poison within the book. Mm. And that was the cookbook. Cool. Which was made out of flesh. Yep. What type of flesh? Just curious. Woman. Unidentified. Ah. Um, also, you guys never met, got to meet, meet Phalanges, which was my version of Thing. Yeah. An animated hand that's still at the house. Um, the hand is ha able to speak and broken thieves can't. And three times per day, it may use the ability of find object. And once per day, it can cast Know the Path. It also gained the ability of t telekinesis, which allows the hand to move an object up to 10 pounds. 
Hmm. That would have been the perfect familiar for me. Yep. Just, just. Your bird skeleton, actually, you had the option to merge a soul onto it. And depending on the soul you merged onto it, it would have given it different abilities as a familiar. Too bad I was missing a bird, right. You could have put it together without it. Mm. You would have just had a negative one to be able to enchant it. Mm. Because the skeleton was broken. And then you also would have had options later on too to imbue it much like your scorpion. Mm. Where it costs a spell point to activate it for, hour, for an hour or so anyway. Right. But now you could have enchanted it because it's a husk with whatever other elements you want. Burning scorpion, frozen scorpion, poison scorpion. Yeah. Don't worry to make a base tower. Yeah. Um, at least that's what I had options out there for. It. So I tried to include everything that everybody asked for, but I don't know. I'm not the best DM, I'm sorry. Well, it's not your fault That's or anyone's worse. fault. You're a good deal. It's not about that. It's more just about that the campaign didn't work. Wrong or right, either the players or the GM, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Or, you know, it's it's really no I'm, one's I'm fault. Not the best at long run vanilla campaigns. I can run it. I put a lot of stuff into it. I mean, but... it's not that we're ungrateful or anything for the experience no, we've had no. or anything. It's not like that. It's just that it, it's but a tough campaign to run. Most people aren't really into political campaigns. <laughs> I don't really like politics. Yeah. Just look at uh, Trump and Biden. Let's not bring that up. Okay. They're both wearing diapers. It's fine. Alright. So, I guess, since we've been streaming this whole anyway, I guess this is then us saying goodbye to the Chosen. The Chosen have chosen to die. Retire. <laughs> oh, nostalgia's doing great. What are you talking about? Die. Become part of the Smada household. That I'd be content with that. Knowing well, my character, she would be incredibly content with that. You know what? If I know Nasaj, he will be very apologetic to his boss, but then tell them that you ran off on your own like a complete lunatic and drag the party to their death. He are you kidding? Nasaj is just going to make himself disappear and become a new person. Yeah, that's true. And by that, I mean the new mayor of, you know, wearing the face of the current mayor, because Dessage. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he would literally, and he'll look normal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Realistically, that's what Dessage would probably end up doing at that point. Screw going back to the captain. You now have a port city. Patience. You now have everything that you need With or infinite want. Infinite supplies of money, weed, yeah. a, a entire religion under my dominance that can easily be dispelled when yeah. I kill all the priests to get rid of yeah, it. You after can't the go back gun. to the captain at this point. He'll kill you. Yeah, I guess I did lose her. Yeah. You ruined his plans of world domination by not protecting her. Yeah, I'll just lay at the port. Disappear. And who knows, with the um, reclaimers, maybe we'll do next Halloween an episode where you come back to the Smata household and the spirits of... Skat the Skak oh, and... No, the Skak would just be living among... Just, just living in the house, just like, what? Okay. I do their paperwork. With the spirits of the Gelf and the... Of Yasmin and everyone else. Yasmin and... would be popping around the smaller mansion every so often to look at the yeah. paintings. So, See if you guys family. bring back a present to the executives. Yeah, so I was even going to do, um, like I told you before about the collections department, they're all pretty low payout to start off with. So your first campaigns are starting off with the payments of like one platinum each. And then you work up to like ten platinum. We'll get rich. We'll get rich eventually. Until you can get access to an executive we'll get rich eventually. order, which has no cash value, I want to but rich will put you in a positive eye with the executives. See, now he's going to bring you back to daddy and sell you. <laughs> and she died before then. I actually bring back her corpse. What corpse? So, does the reclaimer idea sound good yeah. to you? I'll come around to joining it, hopefully. Okay. But... You think Tom's interested? Who knows with him? It's episodic. It's simple. No, so is Tom. Huh? So is Tom. Yeah. And he could play a tank <laughs> nicely enough. All right. So um, at that point, then, so you want to figure for um, when do you want to do the next game, then? 
for character creation and starting. You want to do it like Sunday, next Sunday? Or are we doing Sunday game, Saturday game, what date? Let's start off with we, what date are we doing? Saturday I thought Saturdays was the was the unofficial one. Right now that works. I can't promise where I'm going to Saturday, I, if I'm able to get the day off, I can join. Okay, so Saturday we're all basically agreeing at this point? Yeah, yeah I'll let you know when I want to join. Okay. But... So at this point now then, um, let's figure... Um, I can even try to take an overnight shift. For this Saturday, let's not plan anything. Right. Um, just to give everybody some time. Um, I'll probably come by and see you anyway. Yeah. We can start making our characters and get that part that done for good. you and Fee. Um, maybe even do our session zero. That'd be great. Um, which, I, if everyone's okay with it, I want to do the stream for each one. Kind of okay. introduce the character and get an idea for it. Sure. Um, I have a general basic storyline to start with everybody for getting them in. I'll finagle it for character each to get and we'll just do section um episode zero for your character will just be how you got to toka and right. then got the job um so feel free to talk <coughs> with me what character you might be interested in playing or what you're looking into and we'll plan for next saturday you want to say mid-afternoon yeah that's fine i have all, I, i'll be off so okay so uh, we'll keep the chat group open message me yeah. if you have a different, definite time frame. Yeah. And then we'll just say that this is our last Wednesday game? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Then I shall, I guess, close the door on this game. And I thank you all for the people that watch. We'll be back soon with a brand new game set.